The Outlook Auto Shade is a universally fitting car window shade that covers the entire car door frame to allow you to lower and raise your windows for ventilation. It comes in two styles, square and curved. All Outlook products, including the Outlook Auto Shade, have been tested to strict UK and European standards. All of our shade products, including the Auto Shade, are also tested here in Australia to ensure that every batch of product and every batch of fabric we produce adheres to our strict UV protection ratings. So with that look, you can be assured that your product is not only of the highest quality, but is also tested above and beyond the current Australian standard limit. The Outlook Auto Shade has been uniquely designed so that only the top third of the window on the outside of the car is covered by mesh. On the inside of the car door, the full window is covered, ensuring protection, but also allowing you to see out the bottom half of the window, which is important not only for the driver, but also for passengers in the vehicle. The single layer of the Auto Shade has a rated UPF of 10, which is equivalent to 90% UV block. The double layer has a rated UPF of 50, reduces up to 99% of UV glands. It is also a hard wearing universal product that will suit all makes and models of vehicle, whether square like this one or curved. As you can see, when the Outlook Auto Shade is in place, only the top third of the outside of your window is covered. This not only increases driving visibility, but when you're traveling down the motorway at high speed, it reduces the surface area for wind to get underneath stopping the flapping that happens with some other models that cover the whole length of the window. With the Auto Shade out of its packaging, open your car door and step in behind it. Now what you want to do is lift the Auto Shade over the door frame, ensuring that the Outlook logo is to the outside, like so. Make sure that the corners are over the corner of the frame and that the seam of the auto shade is running along the seam of the door. Once you've done this, you can see that you've got a nice stretch shape across the outside of the car door. Now we'll show you how to fit on the inside of the car door. Now that we've attached the Outlook Auto Shade over the top of the car door frame, I'll now explain how to attach it to the bottom of the car door frame to give you a nice snug fit. At the end of the strapping device, you'll find a unique clip. This has been designed to be safe for the duco of your car, while still ensuring you have a nice snug fit that will stop the car shade from riding up whilst driving. If you open this clip up and place it in the palm of your hand, you can then reach down under the car door and clip it to the edge of the frame like so once you've done that you may need to use the adjuster clip as you can see with this one it's fine and i've got a great all over cover in some makes and models of vehicles you may find that you have a plastic molding or mud guard at the bottom of your car door frame this will prevent you from using the clip at the base of the door frame. However, this does not mean you can't use the Outlook Auto Shade. In this instance, instead what we can do is thread this strap through the handle of the car door frame and across to the side of the car door frame to attach. This will still work just as well and is often easier than bending down to the base of your car door. The design of the Outlook Auto Shade also allows you to lower and raise your window without interfering with the protection of your child from the sun, allowing further ventilation and cooling of the interior of your vehicle. If your vehicle has a curved window, like this one, where it curves from the top corner all the way down to the rear bottom corner, then you'll need our curved model. I'll show you how to fit this, but it's essentially the same as the square. If you stand within the door and lift the auto shade over the door frame with the Outlook logo pointing to the outside, stretch it over down to the edge of the window so you've got a nice firm fit and then you would attach the strapping device on the inside of the door just as you would the other.